Got my friend Rich here. I didn't realize how long Rich had been my friend. Yeah? So I, I met Rich just a few minutes ago. I've been watching since Carmel, the very beginning. Wow. Yeah. Been a long road. Well, it's nice to finally meet you in person, and we're working on a front wheel seal for your Deer 4300. Yep. Similar project that we did before, but... Different. But different, requires a different socket, requires some different tools. Let's get started. The trouble he experienced with his tractor is the same as we experienced with ours, except his has been, I'd say, going on for slightly longer. Uh, and he's actually got some, I don't know if you can see it on the table here, but the, the oil is what we would refer to in a business as milky. Yep. Um, it's got water in it, and water and oil don't mix, but do mix, and when they mix, it's horrible. Lucky for Rich, all of his bearings and stuff still appear to be in good condition. Uh, I would say that the oil's been changed in yeah, discussion with you yeah. fairly well, we, regularly. I started this project a couple years ago. Right. And now we're back at it again because of the tooling. Right, right. Yeah, well, and that's a very specific tool and it's they're difficult to find is what we found as well. But we're just going through and we've got it torn down. We've got his old seal out, which this one is far worse than Tim's. Um, and we're ready to go ahead and put the new seal in as soon as we get, we got one race left on here to pull off and then we'll go from there. Never do a job until you absolutely need it, right? Going to finish up that vice project here to get the vice installed here this morning because, yeah, Dave's waiting on it right now. Yeah, I get it smoky when I put that oil in there, but I'd rather have the smoke than a destroyed drill bit. This is not as nice a cutting oil as I had before. That's what I can find. Yeah. Um, I really like the stuff that foams up. Whoops, I got her stuck here. So that's the new seal. Yep. Nice and pretty looking. And you use the vise. Um, without it being attached to anything. <laughs> uh, well, so there's this thing called patience, and I'm lacking in it. We're waiting on someone, right? Yes. Good to know. We'll use it for the next one. Hey! <laughs> I heard that. That don't look too bad, does it? No. For amateur. Looks great, Tim. Looks, looks fine. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Hey, I'm still using the bolts that came from uh, heavyhitch.com. Now, Rich, you told me you have some heavy hitch product. Uh, yeah, actually, I bought the tooth bar, the five-foot tooth bar. Yeah, what do you think of that? I love it, because all I had was a straight bucket, and yeah, I love it. It works great. It's physics. Yeah. I mean, now you have just little points that are going into yeah. the, to the earth instead yeah. of that whole, whatever, 57, 60-inch width. Yep. So you've had your 4300 for 20 years, right? Yeah, about that, yeah. 20, 21, something like that. Wow. $300 when I got it. And you don't have any idea now? No, no idea. Our meter quit. How are we doing, Dave? Are we, you're almost done. You get them all but one, then I'm gonna have to probably just drill it out or something. Hopefully they'll fit. Hammer finish. Good thing they're grade eight. Maybe, maybe it won't destroy the threads. Now those bolts will be locked. Yeah, see, we actually had 9 16 holes in the top, but I didn't have a 9 16 bit. So I drilled them off center just a little bit. Now when you put that nut on there, it won't come off. Exactly, that's the intent, right? And it'll be like a lock nut. Every, you know, it's well thought through. It's not mistakes. They're not mistakes. And when it comes loose, we'll just tack weld it anyways. All right, ready for you. Soon to be ready for you. Kind of wish now I'd have taken those corners off a little bit. Maybe next time. Well, when you get your plasma cutter, we'll go through and make it look like we did it on purpose. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually shape around that. Thing. Yeah, cool. beautiful. He spent, he spent another $2,000 of the finance committee's money. Yeah. I'm good at that. What you want to do is just pre-lube it because you don't want these bearings to run dry. So I guess going to hammer that seal in out here rather than trying to push it all together, right? Yes. Wow. 
Wow. Perfect. So what I'm looking for here is that socket has to slide into those slots. But if you can see it on camera here, this does not really want to slide in there for some reason. So $300. And so what I'm going to do here is I think those tabs are just pushed in, possibly from shipping, possibly from poor manufacturing. But I'm just going to very carefully with a hammer give them a little bit of tap so it'll sit down in there like we want it. And I won't have to force the socket onto it. Yep. Yeah, I think you're gonna need more than that, aren't you? That's a hard, that'll be a hard socket. What we don't want to do is break them tabs off because then we're gonna be in a world of hurt. And then you're gonna see some real fab skills here in a second. We'll try that. We don't need to remove much, just a little bit. What do you think? Mm, not quite. It's so close, it wants to go, it just... Is this not the John Deere part? We don't know, we bought it off eBay. Uh... Somebody built this in their garage. I said it might be a bad idea. Or it could be genius. It's going. Now, can you get it out? That'll be the trick. I get the feeling that socket's harder than our nut. See how it's peeling up the metal there? So what that means is the socket didn't bend, it just scraped the nut off to where it fit. Uh. So we might have to take a little bit of grinder to it and just machine it down. Because she's still not gonna fit this way. Well, the summary, I guess, of this segment is that we bought the eBay socket which was $107 instead of the deer socket, which was $300. Um, and it wasn't perfect. Clearly someone had made this in their own garage and it's not perfect. It, it's, it's got the knobs in the right place, but they're just a little bit too tight. Hopefully we can make it work or else we're out of luck. Folks, if you'd like some repair work on your tractors, Dave is uh, essentially hanging up his shingle here at, at my shop. And we'll be somewhat selective because we want to have some, some decent video content. But uh, if you've got some even more major repairs to be done on these small tractors, uh, we'd be happy to do it. And I think we will be a good bit cheaper than the Deer Dealer. Um, there'll be some things, again, we'll, we'll not do and it doesn't have to be deer brand um, as long as we can get the parts might be fun yeah we can do it this is like the permatex stuff or something isn't it yeah yeah they, they sealed that thing what'd you call it you've got a three-letter acronym for it uh R rtv rtv okay snap rings our favorite yeah. boy that's a big snap ring I'm gonna get my nose out of there. I just don't wanna catch a finger in it. Man, there we go. Tight. Okay, all right. Are we almost all the way we're, in? We're we're very close, just uh, everybody don't breathe. Okay. What do you say about that, Jack? Yeah, what do you say about that, Jack? Oh, sing you a song. <laughs> Makes me so satisfied when that happens. Just slipped into place. Sure right did. For you. Yep, yep. The hardest part's getting it there, and after that, she just kind of walks herself home. Try doing that upside down on the tractor. Yeah, the well. Because we got that far. Because of where they got that at, it's a, it's well worthwhile to take that off. Me yep. and Tim thought about doing it on the tractor, and I realized that was four bolts. And there was nothing complicated about yep. pulling it. I was like, it's so much yep. easier. Yeah, that was like, Tim, Tim asked me if I had a trailer. It's like, no, I'll just pull bring, them off yep, and bring yep. them up. I started a day early just to make sure. They had Loctite on them, right? So you Red were, Loctite. They were not going to come loose. Not easy. 
Well, see, I've been told a thing or two on the red Loctite, and the the deal is what I was told. I don't know how true this is. Heat it. No, folks. They, daily doubtable. Well, this is just With like an day. old man wisdom. They said there's no point in using blue because blue will come off. You if you want if you want it to be locked on, you use red Loctite. But I'm sure Loctite disagrees. But that's old school thinking. Red Loctite can be some bad stuff. Yes, it can be. Heat does supposedly take it off, yeah, but that's I mean, what if, they you got say. A, if you got a big enough impact or a big enough wrench. So folks, weigh in on red versus blue Loctite. I was always told not to use red yeah. because with red you could never get it off again. Man, there's a bunch of gunk in here. This is probably... Now, have, did you say you had these seals fixed once before? No, I had it. Uh, we had one side apart until we got to the problem you guys ran into with the socket. With the socket. Okay. And then we just put it back together. So we'll just keep adding oil. <laughs> that's pretty much what I did until. Well, that at least you kept the tractor. A lot of people would say, I'll put it back together. I'm going to trade the tractor. You know, we did that video and we talked to a tractor reseller. He resells John Deere tractors. In fact, I'll give him a shout out. It's Helget Equipment, H-E-L-G-E-T Equipment out in the uh, Northwest somewhere. And he said that this is the number one repair. And he means it's the repair that he has to do the most often on these little tractors. Apparently nobody wants to do it. Well, he thinks it's the vented axle issue, especially in elevation. See, he's taking these tractors up and down hill Mm. up and down the mountains mm. and he says it doesn't take very much of a pressure change to create either a suction or outward right. pressure and then once you get that a uh, suction created and it's bringing that dirt in it won't be long at all till the till the seal is bad so he highly recommends the Otis Innovation Axle Vent use code TTWT but I'm having trouble convincing Rich well it's not so much convincing as uh, my current output of uh, green. Ah, finance committee again. <laughs> it's always our fault. Yeah, it always, is. Always the wife. But you know what? It's $100 of prevention. And as you've seen, this is more than $100 of cure. Oh, yeah, I know that. 300 in parts? Well, since I can return these two... That's uh, 65, 100, 350, 375 by the time we put those in it. Yep. Okay. $375 even counting. Just in seals. That we may have ordered too many. And then Dave, he charges top notch labor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a top notch employee. Oh, hey, I'll take that. So he deserves top notch labor. Uh oh. Loose it wheel. Loose, loose wheel. wheel, yeah. Loose wheel, loose wheel. You picked a fine time to leave me <laughs> loose wheel. I say, what kind of music do you listen to, Tim? Well, not much anymore. What kind of music do you listen to, Dave? Uh, well, I call it country. Other people call it bluegrass. Uh, like Tyler Childers, Zach Bryan, Chris Stapleton. Okay, so we're getting down to it now. This Chris Stapleton is your hero. No, 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 no. He's not my favorite artist. Zach Bryan by far is my favorite artist. But I do like Chris Stapleton's music. Where does Jack Black rank? Uh, you know, he's got that Tenacious D song. It's it's entertaining. <laughs> I'm in this side. You're over there. Okay. It looks bigger. I wonder if the bearings cost even as much as the seals. Uh, I would suspect they do. Just go till it stops? Is that what you did there, Dave? Yeah, well, because I don't want to we'll have to go one size up on the socket. What I don't want to do is get the socket wedged onto that shaft. So I'm trying to be delicate. Delicate Dave.
This would have been a pretty big job for you, wouldn't it, Rich? Mm -hmm. It would have been right on the edge for me too. I, I, I probably could have handled this, but I, for me, it's a confidence issue. Well, I could have got it done, but by the time I got done, I'd had a bunch of tools I really didn't need anymore. Well, that's another point, isn't it? You know. I mean, yeah, tools come in handy, but some of them you're just going to use once, especially when it's a three hundred dollar socket. Yeah, while you were gone, the $107 cheap knockoff socket, we had to do some remanufacturing on it. Oh, yeah. See the grinding we had to do, or Dave had to do to get it to... Oh, wow. Test her up a little bit. Is there a particular angle? Or is any of them fine? Uh, any of them's fine because it rotates. Just okay. as long as she goes together. A lot snugger than it, it was floppy when it come in. Rich, I want you to take a look at that right there. Oh, wow. That's weird. It's worse than weird. So this has been pretty, pretty much damaged. I don't know if we can get the camera to focus here or not, but that's... That uh, almost looks like a def bad part because the rest of the teeth... No, it's been hit with... Uh, it's been hit with tooth there. Yeah. And we do see a little damage on the other end of the gear, but not nearly as bad as this one. Yeah. But I think, I think given it, it is 20 years old. Yeah, it's gonna last another till I, yeah. Till it doesn't. Yep. Yeah. Then and we'll then see I'll you again. It. Folks, if you're interested in buying a tractor sometime this spring, we've got an opportunity coming up that I think is gonna be, well, I think it really is gonna be an opportunity. We're having an event, preliminary name is the Tractor Blitz, but it's gonna be kinda of unique. It's a reverse auction or a Dutch auction. So these tractors are almost new. In fact, a little more on that as we get into it a little more later. A lot of them have never been off a dealer's lot. But we're gonna set a price on the tractor and then that price is gonna be reduced every few hours and until someone buys it. Right, so the, the price will just keep going down. The trick for you is to buy it before someone else does because as soon as it gets down to a certain amount, it will be gone because somebody else will say, that's too good of a deal to pass up. There'll be financing available. There will be a shipping charge. There won't be any uh, buyer's premium. You know, what you, what you see on the price is what you pay. I'm not sure about sales tax at this point. We're gonna start this in April. Um, the website name is cloudstore.co, okay? Yeah, it's nothing to do with online storage or anything. It means a store that happens to be online where you can buy tractors. So yeah, just wanted to get, get this out there for you. The prices of these machines are gonna be well below what you can buy a new one. Most of these machines will have less than five hours on them literally have never been off the dealer's lot. I'll explain more about that as it goes along as well. Mostly John Deere's, 10, 25 R's up to bigger tractors. We'll have more on it in, uh, as time goes along. We did one more seal replacement on this one. That's what we were having the press out for. That's, I would say it's in the hub, uh, or we're Hubs, debating yeah. about whether it's the, the, the spindle or the hub or whatever, I don't know. We did not, tear that apart on my 3R, but they were clearly leaking on, on this tractor. I got this comment on the earlier video we did on um, the front axle seal on our uh -huh. 3046R. It says, nice to see someone working on the axle I designed in 1994 for Dana Spicer Off Highway Group. You did a great job, love the channel. Hey, I'll take that praise. And we noticed that we had Spicer brand bearings for this one. I bet this is a Spicer. I would suspect probably the much. same one. It's, I, or, you know, I mean, it, it, it it's, may, a it's not a, it's a little different. different design, but for the most part. And the reason I bring this up is because everybody always talks about these 4300s, uh, all these older tractors. They're they're Yanmar tractors, but it's interesting that these front axles are Ameri American designed. Yeah. By people who are watching our channel. So even when they're saying stuff is built by Yanmar, I mean, one of the things they talk about is the front axle not being American. Well, 
That we just is. found out from this commenter this one is, or the, the at least the 3046R is. So, and I'm sure this one is very similar. If it's not the same, it's a stolen design. Which... If it's not the same manufacturer, it's a stolen design. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, especially since the uh, seals were Spicer brand seals. This one went a lot faster, Dave. It sure did. This is uh, nice and quick and easy. This is what the first one should have been, but we had a couple little snags. But for the most yeah. part, we got her done. I think it was because of the waffle. I tell you what, that waffle was impressive. What's that place called up there in Lebanon? Flapjacks. Flapjacks. They got this Oreo waffle with some cheesecake filling in it. This is to die for. She said it was a lunch item. You could also eat it as a dessert. I ate it for lunch with some bits of bacon in it. And you notice how fast he's talking, how fast oh, yeah, he's yeah, moving. It's a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. <laughs> It was worth it for my money, though. You know, I, I'm telling you what, getting them wound up now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, look how easy that just comes out of there. Oh, you mean that works better than my 1994 Permatex? Uh, yeah. I think that stuff does have a shelf life, honestly. This one has a expiration date. It expired today. That looks pretty. You can go into cake decorating if you fail as a mechanic. Uh, well, hopefully I don't fail as a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got it. Got all of it. Rich, this has been a success. Yes, sir. I want to thank you guys very much. You're very welcome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Saved me a lot of trouble. This has been like a two, two and a half year project. Yeah, yeah. That I finally got back to because of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. And then, again, to repeat, if you've got uh, repairs on these small tractors that uh, we'd, we'd like to take them on and gives us a chance to show some different items. We see once in a while on Facebook and some other places where people are having problems that we've never had. And we'd like to be able to show our viewers, Absolutely. you know, how to fix some of these other problems. And so, yep. yeah, if you got some, let us know. Reach out Tim at TractorTimeWithTim.com and let us know. We'll... we'll We'll see if we can do your repair for you. Rich, thank you. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed great, meeting great you. Great meeting you. And thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, Time with, with Tim. Tim. Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. Cut. You act like you've been wanting to say that for a while. Ah, well, you know. <laughs>